Miss Marie. And as always, I'm so excited because I have a great video for you today. Today we're just going to be making over the bathroom shelf. I cannot remember Bruh. the name of this thing. The shelf liner, the contact paper that you put over your shelves. Basically, I'm going to be using that to cover the counter in the bathroom, the countertop. And then also the little entryway area in my apartment. It's what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You're going to be seeing me do the floor. They're two separate days, but I just figured I would throw them together because they're short videos and they're both about like making over that little area because the bathroom is right off of that area. So we're going to sit here and, and, and see how it goes. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. As always, thank you so much for watching. working on redoing my bedroom like a complete extreme transformation and you know how sometimes you start a project and it kind of just spills over into other areas of your house no nope. so currently i'm a renter right now where i'm standing is just a little hallway where you come in and you kind of are led to each room so anyway this little hallway i usually just use it for like storage for the bathroom because there's not much in there and some storage for the kitchen because i don't have much storage in my kitchen either Long story short, I wanted to give this hallway a refresh because I was doing my room and then every time I came to the hallway, it just was underwhelming for me. So that's what I'm working on today. And the main thing I'm working on right now is putting down the floor, the vinyl floor peel and stick tiles. Now I did some research and because I do rent, I wanted to make sure that I'm not going to ruin the floor that's already here more so like not that this floor is that, that special but more so that when i leave that i don't damage the floor and picking it up so someone said i could use either use the pr presentation poster boards and put that down as a like kind of like a subfloor and then someone else said you could use cling wrap like the plastic wrap um so i'm gonna use this i'm gonna put this down with some double-sided tape i will let you guys know how this holds up if the tiles shift using this this could be a mistake but um, this is what I have on hand and then I just also kind of feel like just feel like this might work so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try uh, as always thank you so much for watching So when I started this project, I am embarrassed to say that I thought it would only take 30 minutes. And maybe it's just me. Maybe I did not do this the best way possible. But it actually took me, I want to say like six hours, like five or six hours over a couple days of just kind of taking little breaks and going back. But like the actual work, like every time I went to start putting tile down i spent about like an hour and a half at it so that's why i would say we five or six hours i mean it turned out okay there are some imperfections my son didn't really notice them but 
I see them, especially on camera, they're highlighted. They're not as visible in person. But then I use these rugs to kind of camouflage some of them. I know that's not a permanent solution, but that's what I've done for now. And then I do have some storage furniture that will be coming out here. So we'll just see how long it holds up. And hopefully because I did apply the plastic wrap, I can take it up easily if I want to change it or if I move.